Tonight, gun safety in the spotlight. In less than two weeks, two local teens were accidentally shot. One of those incidents left 15-year-old James Johnson dead on Christmas Day. Now some officials are wondering if gun safety courses for kids could have prevented these tragedies. 12 News reporter Tyler Segerman spoke with a local expert. Dage, the conversation turns now to education. The expert I talked to tonight says it's clear parents are responsible for educating their kids. It starts in the home uh, with a, a parent. Danny Walker says he couldn't believe that in less than two weeks, two 15-year-olds were accidentally shot in Southeast Texas. Well, it's sad. Walker knows the pain of losing someone to a gun firing by mistake. It, it really burned a memory in me. Being very early in my childhood, you know, that that, you know, they were looking at an unloaded gun to them and it ended up taking their life. Walker is a Jefferson County Sheriff's deputy and teaches gun safety classes. The first rule of uh, gun safety to me is every gun is loaded. It's a lesson he teaches parents and kids. They will bring their child uh, to the class and stay there with them and get educated on how to, we call it the learn to shoot class. Unfortunately, it's not uncommon for children to accidentally shoot themselves. According to Every Town for Gun Safety, there have been nearly 100 child accidental shootings in the state of Texas since 2015, 34 of them being fatal. Walker encourages anyone handling a gun to treat it with respect. It's like that rattlesnake. You just don't reach down there and just grab it. You know, it's not a cell phone. It's not a set of keys. You know, it's very, very dangerous. A parent or adult can receive a Class C misdemeanor for making a firearm accessible to a child under the age of 17. Of course, in Texas, nobody can legally buy or own a handgun if they are under the age of 21. Tyler Segerman, 12 News.